Hey, it's Jim coming back with another video. Um, got the Frigidaire Gallery side-by-side -side refrigerator. This particular one was manufactured in July of 2019. Uh, I'm going to show you how to run through the diagnostics. Um, you can run through a, a list of diagnostics to check different parts of the um, operation of this refrigerator. Um, basically, the way you're going to do that is um, right at the control board. Now this is pretty much going to be the same process whether or not you have um, the side-by-side -side or the French door refrigerator. So to put it in the diagnostic mode, you're going to use the freezer down and up arrows. You're going to press them both simultaneously for up to 10 seconds. Okay, now you're in your diagnostic mode, so that's going to be the first screen. Everything is going to be on. Um, so that's what you're going to see typically when you go into the diagnostic mode. Um, so to advance, to advance through the test, you're going to press the, um, the plus key on the refrigerator side. So go to the next screen. That's going to show you minus 88 and minus 88 on both of the temp screens there, the display. Go to the next screen, it shows nothing. And then press it, the plus key one more time and you'll be in your first test. Um, so the first test is test 28. This is really hard to, um, it's not really focusing on the LED, but that's 28 right there. Um, test 28 is the dispenser paddle. So that would be the dispenser paddle right there. So if you're wondering if your, your paddle is working, um, you go into test 28 and so what will happen here is um, I'm going to press the paddle and you'll see it turn to on while the paddle is being depressed. Now when I let it out it's going to be off. So we do this so we know our paddle is working. This refrigerator is not hooked up to water so um, I don't think water would come out during the diagnostic mode anyway, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. So um, moving on to the next test, it's test 46. That is your uh, humidity sensor. Um, basically, not gonna worry too much about that one. Gonna move on to the next test. That is your, um, there's, a, there's a heater inside the dispenser area to prevent condensation. Um, that's off right now. We can press the set button there and that turns it on so we know that that works. Press it again to turn it off. Next we're going to go to um, test one. That's going to run your compressor. Actually that skipped test one. Uh, went went to test two, which that's your defrost heater. So if you want to run your defrost heater, you press the set button, and um, that would uh, run your defrost heater. So now we see that that's on, and now it's off. And it's flashing 27. All right, next we're going to move up. Um, the next test should be test 8. It is. Um, that's going to be the water, the water uh, valve to the dispenser. And you're going to use the set key here. Uh, have a cup ready if you're hooked up to water or if water's turned on. When you press set, water would come out. This doesn't have water hooked up to it. But water would come out the dispenser. Press that again to turn it off. Okay, next up we're going to go up to um, the auger motor. So that's the motor that dispenses the ice. That should be test 10. It says off. Use the set key the auger motor in there would turn uh, if there's ice in the ice container ice will come out so i don't know if you can hear it but it is working 
Um, take the ice container out when you do that test so ice doesn't come out if there's ice in the container. Next is the ice cube crush solenoid. That should be the next test. Again, set, that's off. You hear it, it's on. Don't leave that activated for too long because those coils burn out rather quickly if they have power to them for too long. So next is gonna be the condenser fan, which is the fan that cools the compressor in the back of the refrigerator. That's test 12, so it's off. Go here, it's on. If you go in the back of the refrigerator, um, check back there by the compressor, there'll be a fan. You should notice that that's running. Um, come back, press set, turn it off, and that fan will turn off. Next up is going to be test eight. Um, that's test 38, that tests your compressor. Okay, so um, again, press set, compressor's on. If you go in the back, and you can hear the compressor running. Probably can't hear it on this video, but um, the compressor is on. Turn that off using the set key. Again, the set key turn activates and deactivates these tests. Um, next up, we're going to check the lighting. It's going to be test 13, I believe. So lighting's off. Okay. Press set. It says on. That's the fresh food lighting. Okay, so the fresh food lighting is on. Um, yeah, that's, that's fresh food. That's only going to test the fresh food lighting. Okay, so let's turn that off. All right, that's off. This next test is 15. That's going to be your evaporator fan. Uh, that's the fan that's in the freezer. So that's off. Let's press set. Okay, that's on low. Can't really hear it right now on low. Press set again. Now that's on high. You can hear that fan running. You'll feel air blowing out. Press set again, and now that turns it off. Next test is test 20. Um, that's gonna test your freezer lighting. So press set. Freezer lights are on, turn it off, freezer lights are off. Next one would be test 22. That's going to be an air damper that allows air from the freezer to the refrigerator. That's CL, that stands for closed, so it's closed right now. Um, that opens it uh, when all is working. What you're gonna do is you should take this cover off here. You would have to take this apart. That's where your air damper is and you would be able to see that opening and closing. Um, then we've got test 36. That's your ice chute door. That's the door here that um, allows the ice to fall through. It's closed, CL, let's press test. That's open. I'm going to press test again. You see that close? That's the set. When I press set, I'll press set again. It opens. Press set again. Closed. Closed. Open. Next test. 23. 23 is going to be the fresh food door. So that's going to tell you if the door is open or closed. Uh, that's fresh food, the refrigerator door. So right now it's closed. Open the door. It opens. Close the door. It closes. Okay, number 24. That should be the freezer door. It is. Freezer door is closed. You'll see it says close. Open. Is open. Close. Closes. So that's all good. Test 29. That's going to be um, the fresh food demister. So the um, actual sensor for the temperature in the refrigerator section. Uh, this fridge is warm. I just plugged it in a few minutes ago. 
Uh, so the fresh food sensor is actually reading 62 degrees. Test 30, that's going to be a freezer thermistor. So the sensor for the freezer, um, again, warm freezer. Uh, it's reading 56 degrees. Um, next up, test number 33. That is going to be your um, the ambient thermistor. So that's, that's telling you what the room temperature is. 67 degrees in here. Next test is 34. That is your, um, that's the, um, there's another thermistor inside this control panel in here, in there. Um, that's telling you what the temperature is up inside here. That's reading 70 degrees. Test number 39. That's your, um, thermistor that's on your evaporator, which controls the defrost. That's reading 42 degrees. Test number 45, that is, um, what is 45? I don't know what 45 is. Some kind of a thermistor, apparently. That's pretty much going to be it. That's going to be some kind of thermistor, I'm not sure. Um, these, you're not going to worry about these at all. Um, that's pretty much going to be it. So what we're going to do now is to deactivate the test mode. Um, we're going to, you could do one of two things. You could leave it and not do anything for five minutes and it'll, it'll go right back to, um, regular operation or you can press the fresh food plus key for, uh, could be up to 10 seconds probably will be less than 10 seconds yeah it was less than probably less than five seconds now everything's back to normal okay well that was pretty much a quick run through um might be a little confusing but um that's how you run the diagnostics on these frigidaire refrigerators. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.